Hello friends. Today we will discuss Lorentz transformation equations for space and time in relativity. Now what is the need of Lorentz transformation equations? In one of the video lectures we have discussed Galilean transformation equations. But these transformation equations cannot be applied for the objects moving with a speed compared to the speed of light. Therefore, new transformation equations are derived by Lorentz for these objects and these are known as Lorentz transformation equations for space and time. So, for example, that there are two inertial frames of references S and S dash. S is the stationary frame of reference, S dash is the moving frame of reference. Now at time t equals to t dash equals to zero, that is in the start, they are at the same position, that is observers O and O dash coincides. After that, S dash, this frame, this frame starts moving with a velocity, uniform velocity V along the x axis. Now let an event happen at position P in the frame S dash. Now these two frames can be a uh, motorbikers and suppose this S dash frame is one of the motorbikers and he is uh, wearing a cap and for example he has thrown a cap and this cap is an event. The coordinate of the point P will be X dash according to the observer in S dash. This is X dash and it will be x according to the observer o in s. The frame s dash has moved a distance vt in time t. Now what should be the relation between x and x dash? Now as we can see from figure that from s dash x is directly proportional to x minus vt. In the Galilean transformation equations it was x dash equals to x minus vt. But here it is proportional to x minus vt because here the velocity is comparative to the speed of light. And after removing the proportionality symbols, for example, it is x dash equals to k x minus vt. Now here minus sign is due to the negative direction. According to this frame, this observer, this frame is moving in negative direction with a minus v velocity. So that's why there is minus sign. Now similarly from frame S, x equals to k x dash plus vt dash. So these are equations 1 and 2. Now put equation 1 in 2. So by simple calculations you will get x equals to k into k x minus vt plus vt dash or x by k equals to kx multiply these then kx minus kvt plus vt dash or vt dash equals to x by k minus kx plus kvt or t dash equals to kt minus kx 1 minus 1 by k square by v this is equation number 3 so we have equations for x dash now we have equations for t dash also Similarly from frame S time t will be t is equals to kt dash plus kx dash 1 minus 1 by k square by v4. This equation can be derived by putting equation 2 in 1 and then solving. Now calculation of k, calculation of constant k. Now let us suppose a flash of light is emitted from the common origin of S and S dash at time t is equals to t dash equals to 0 which means that when S frame and S dash frame both are at the same position and then a flash of light is emitted. Now from Einstein's second postulate the flash of light travels with the velocity of light C and which remains same in both the frames in free space. Now after some time the position of the flash of light as seen from the observer O will be simple that is position equals to speed into time so x equals to ct and as seen from o dash it will be x equals to ct dash now here the form of physics law is same that is position that is velocity into time from einstein first postulate so now put these two values in equation 1 and 2 respectively we get ct dash equals to k ct minus vt or kt c minus v 
and ct is equals to kt dash c plus v now multiply above two equations so it will be c square tt dash k square tt dash c square minus v square or k square equals to because t dash t dash tt dash will be cut down so k square equals to c square by c square minus v square or k square equals to 1 by 1 minus v square by c square equation number 5 or k is equals to 1 by root of 1 minus v square by c square now k is known as relativistic factor now substitute equation 6 in equation 1 so x dash equals to x minus vt divided by root of 1 minus v square by c square as it is assumed that frame s dash is moving only along x axis therefore along y and z direction y dash equals to y and z dash equals to z equation 7 to 9 are known as Lorentz transformation equations for space now let us drive Lorentz transformation equation for time now if we cross multiply equation number 5 that is 1 by k square equals to 1 minus v square by c square 1 minus 1 by k square equals to v square by c square now put the above equation equation 3 that is of equation t dash so t dash will become t dash equals to kt minus kx within bracket v square by c square by v or t dash equals to kt minus kx v by c square now put value of k from equation 5 in above equation we get t dash equals to t minus x t minus kx v by c square divided by root of 1 minus v square by c square equation 10 is known as Lorentz transformation equation for time now equations 7 to 10 are known as Lorentz transformation equation for space and time these are again rewritten below that is x dash if the frame is moving only along x axis x dash equals to x minus vt divided by root of 1 minus v square by c square y dash equals to y z dash equals to z t dash equals to t minus x v by c square divided by root of 1 minus v square by c square if the frame is changed that is from s then the equations are known as Lorentz inverse transformation equations for space and time now these are given as x equals to x dash plus vt dash divided by root of 1 minus v square by c square y is equals to y dash z equals to z dash now t is equals to t dash plus x dash v by c square divided by root of 1 minus v square by c square now you can see here here is positive sign here is positive sign because now we are measuring from frame s and we are measuring a frame s the movement of s dash which is moving along a positive x axis with a uniform velocity positive v so special case if v is very very less than c then Lorentz equations will become Galilean by neglecting v square by c square or v or v by c square wherever necessary as shown below that is x dash equals to x minus vt y dash equals to y z dash equals to z t dash equals to t uh, i hope you have understood the Lorentz transformation equations please search our website winnerscience.com please subscribe and like our channel thank you thanks a lot